movieweb.com. So the first thing I actually want to ask you is I understand between uh, some of the previous films you've made and making this film, you actually spent some time um, directing some episodic television here in the States. Yes. House and Law and Order. And I was just wondering how that those experiences working on those shows maybe prepared you for this film or helped you with making this film? Well, I, I could not tell you exactly in what, in what way that would affect. I think that everything is, you know, you keep working and in a shoot you find new challenges every day, you have new obstacles, you solve them, everything goes into the experience uh, baggage, you know, so so I don't know exactly in what way uh, a, a movie teaches me something or a TV show teaches me something, you know, they're very different animals, you shoot them in a different way and, uh, and everything goes uh, to, the, is a learning experience. Awesome. Um, and then in the film, um, Benjamin's obsession with the case from the 70s, with the case from 1974, um, I, I'm curious if you felt that his obsession was based on his own regret because of not being able to solve the case back then, and A, and then B, I wanted to find out if um, when he does find out the truth at the end, if he's satisfied by that or, or horrified by what he finds out. Well, um, I think that uh, uh, he's been carrying the, the baggage of having been a coward in many aspects all through, the, through those years. I don't think that his obsession is it's not as much to solve the case, but uh, as to redeem himself. Uh, in the end, uh, I don't want to spoil to the people, I would say that he's more uh, horrified about what he finds. Interesting, interesting. And then you have this beautiful, beautiful, continuous five-minute shot in the football stadium. Yeah. Uh, to just love it. I understand it took two years to prepare, three days to shoot, nine months to edit. Yeah. I was just wondering if is that's the most difficult scene you, you've ever had. Oh, it, it, really, it really was. Not in terms of shooting, but in terms of uh, what the post production was. It was a real difficult scene. Um, How do you prepare for something like that? Well, we. We we prepared, you know, we the camera operator had to jump from an helicop from a helicopter into the bleachers fifty times until he didn't get hurt. No, no, I was just <laughs> kidding. The you know the <laughs> the no, basically you preparing which way you know you try different. We we do tests. We do uh, you know stitching shots together. We create several digital options. Some work, some don't. Uh, it's trial and error. You know there hasn't been something quite like this ever made even in American movies, so we were in a little bit of a new territory. Yeah. Um, um, but it, was a, it, was a, it, wasn't easy, it wasn't difficult to shoot, it was uh, difficult to post-produce. Yes, of course. Uh, and then I wanted to ask about um, this the fourth collaboration you've had with actor Ricardo Darren, and I just wanted to find out a little bit of maybe how that relationship has changed over the years. Is there a, a certain shorthand that you have kind of on the set with him now that's different than other actors? I, I think there is a shorthand that we developed, but fortunately we developed it like the third day of, of the shooting the first movie. Uh, we really get along. Uh, it was a instant communication. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, we've been, growing, we've been growing together. We're more or less the same age, you know, so we... we uh, uh, in the last 10 years, we made four movies and we do other stuff in between with other people. And we grew together, you know, uh, artistically speaking, I, I mean. And there, there, there is a shorthand, of course, but it was there from the very beginning.